So this week's Hoover Run of the Week is Legos versus Magnetics. Now, really a, a, a tale of two titans. Um, Legos, I feel like, created the industry. And then for a long time in, in like the mid to late 2000s, I feel like Magnetics were all the rage. Legos have since raged back in, in a fierce way. But I feel like a lot of that is because they're so collectible. But we're not talking about any specific Lego set or anything like that. We're talking about basic Lego blocks versus magnetics. You ever, everyone here, I know Trey had mentioned maybe not, but if everyone here has had a magnetics, yeah, it's hard. You got to think, you're building the magnetics, you're maybe getting a cube out of it or a triangle if you're lucky. <sighs> So, do they have directions like Legos though? No, no, but that's why. So, like, you're, t- I'm talking, like, you were, we're comparing this to like a, a basic Lego set, yeah, like, like just blocks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can build. It's a free for all. You can build whatever you want. I'll kick this off because I, I kind of already know which direction. There's, there's two key points I think. Magnetics are obviously magnetic, so there's a little bit of a disadvantage there because they're easier to break than Legos. Like if you stack Lego blocks and, and you know, you really pinch them down yeah. tightly, like they're hard to get apart sometimes. Yeah. You know, people of your Lego building caliber probably have a tool to peel off Legos when you stick down. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Do you have one of those? I got about 30. Yeah, you're a loser. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whereas magnetics, like if, if you were to smack, smack it, they would it would fall apart. Not totally, but it would like kind of crumple in the middle and cause this huge magnetic ball. That's part of it. On the flip side, though, like if you throw Legos in a box, they're not just going to randomly form like a, a, a strong conglomerate structure. Whereas if you throw magnetics in a, in a box or in a bin, like they're coming out fucking... You're, it, it takes an hour just to get them all apart so you can start So you're saying that creation. that's giving it a hand in the fight. Yeah. And here's the other thing. Magnetics, like you have to connect the same side together, right? Because there's magnetic forces. Yeah. Science. You know about science and stuff. Smart um, guy. So I think that's an advantage because I think it could use that as kind of a, uh, a superpower of sorts against Legos and kind of repel Legos. The other thing is, is if you could, Magnetics has the balls and if you connect a few of the small ones or if you take like one of the long ones, you can kind of like whip it oh. around. It almost turns into like a wrecking ball. So I think even if you have a strong Lego base, if you had a couple good shots with the magnetic style wrecking ball, I think you could kind of take those Legos down. I mean, my cousin swallowed a couple of those balls, uh, magnetic balls. Dude, back I in the remember day. that. Yeah, yeah, we never saw them again, and they didn't do much damage. I thought he had to go to the hospital. No, they did. They didn't do much damage. We never really told anybody though. They could have done damage, but I was yeah. gonna say, do you want to clarify for everybody? Because once you said that, and then you said, well, we've never seen him again. That I no, we've I never seen know. the magnetics ball again. Uh, yeah, they I, might still be in there. He used to I have thought this you were thing saying where you he never saw your cousin again. Things, so. And, like, hold them there, and they'd be gone out of his mouth, and then he'd spit them back out. Yeah, he tried that with one of the big – remember how they were different sizes? Oh, yeah. No, not, like, the too big one, yeah. but the medium mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was just like, dude, I lost it. <laughs> we were like, dude, we were probably about nine or How ten. do you find out you have that talent? Dude, dude. You, start, you just start with, you accidentally <laughs> you swallow something. you got to choke on food you, a couple yeah, times to figure that out. I definitely don't know that talent. Up. That's one of those, like, crazy yeah. talents. Yeah, McHugh's like, got a crazy gag reflex. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I don't know. That's where I stand on it. I think there's two ways you could go. Like I think the Legos build a stronger structure, but I think that magnetics with the ball, like they're heavier. I think they have a better chance of damaging that structure. Whereas Legos, I don't think could inflict as much damage. They're a stronger base to start, but I don't think ultimately they could inflict as much damage on magnetics as magnetics when put together could inflict on a built structure of light. I think you could, I disagree. And I think you could break those long magnetics pieces in half. If you built a Lego that was dense enough where you couldn't break a Lego cube in half, Okay, so with now a we're talking about so you, you could break the structure, but you're not going to be able to break the individual You're not going to destroy the Lego. And the other thing I think about is if the Legos kind of teamed up together, let's say they were living beings, yeah. they could almost, well, all right, let me ask you this, because this goes both ways. Do you think that the magnetics, though, could build like a jail cell pretty much around the Legos, and the Legos are just trapped forever, they just starve them to death? But the Legos could probably also do the same thing. I guess the question is, 
I answer my own question. I think the Legos could break out of a Magnetics jail cell easier than Magnetics could break out of a Lego jail cell. Because to get that wrecking ball scenario, you need momentum. Whereas if they build them a nice tight jail cell and just jam them all in there, they're yeah, just going to fade away. I, you ever seen a Lego master builder in order to become a master builder? Like I, don't, I didn't company? even know that was a thing. There is. It's with the movie. You've never seen the Lego movie? Come on. No. All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> I've seen like the Batman Lego movie. See? Lego like movie. Counts. What's um, a master builder? Yeah, I don't know it is. <laughs> it's literally like a, I think it's a person that works for Lego and that they're in charge of like, they start to do designs and you're considered a master builder. Mm-hmm. Master builders have to build a sphere of Legos and then disassemble and rebuild it over and over again because it's one of the hardest things to build with a Lego. If I were to throw that Lego sphere at you, I could probably take you down. So like, I think it could break just about any other plastic are toy. You a, are the, you a master builder? No. Okay. No, you I never, actually sweat. Never, I I sweat when you I. You never just place. master build alone. Sometimes, no, like not. when you're when your fiance is not home or anything like that, though. There's maybe I would say like amateur building. Okay. You know, but no master. No, nah, I haven't mastered it yet. Okay. In trade, yeah, no, dude. Sometimes it gets intense. You get a little pissed off at that Lego. It's not fitting right, dude. I'll be sweating. Are there times that you're sweating more doing that than when we're playing in our hockey league and stuff like that? You think? No. No, that's crazy. Sweet. <laughs> well, I think I, know, I, I think I'm taking Legos. That's all I'm saying. I gotta go le- side Lego. Wait, you are taking Legos? I think I, I gotta you... take Legos because I think Christopher's right. I think it. Well, actually, I think I'm right. If you build a jail cell out of Legos, I think it's a harder structure to get out of than a jail cell of magnetics. Are because I'm in the middle. Are you? Are, I don't think the magnetics would give like the Legos wouldn't have enough time to do that. I don't think. Like if you had to say like what's e- magnetics like what's are quick magnets are like quick propel like, each other yeah like Legos t- like so maybe there's Chris not. knows it takes a while a good call like it's on the battle here did I already lock my answer in Emily uh, no I'm going magnetics I like that. I like that that's a good call they're quicker they're oh, magnetics are way quicker they're you, fast twitch theoretically couldn't you build like what's it called a rail gun if you were to put enough magnetics it would just propel the Ball, if you had opposite force. That's what I'm saying. Poles. Uh, yeah, I'm all in on magnetics. Yeah. No, I think Science. it's just dent. I think it's just dent in a Lego. I'm going team Lego. You I can disagree. build a, a right. whole shield. Are you walking in mag- magnetics? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the magnetics. The only thing is, you ever stepped on a Lego? Like that's like, I mean, Dude, I know but it's if you us, stepped but... on a magnetic, it would probably hurt like hell too. There's just they're just not as popular, so there's not that kind okay. of no, I just feel like I rounded mean, edges. Yeah. But what if it was straight up? What if it was sitting up? It's and those balls probably hurt too. Yeah, but a Lego's not a needle either. Legos are sharp edges, though. So that's what's going to get you. I, I, they would both hurt. But that's against us. It wouldn't us. feel I good to step it, on it. Yeah. yeah, no, you tried to. No, I did not. Lock in magnetics for me, magnetics for Trey, Legos for Christopher. Lego Christopher's wins. on the losing team once again. Magnetics is going to win. Vote on that on Friday on Instagram. Who's winning the week? 